Hopkins at 43 years old, still near the top of the sport. In two of Hopkins' last four fights, the opponent wound up with in which a headbutt cut clearly bothered Calzaghe. He called it the worst cut of his career. Well, Calzaghe, when asked what he would do about Hopkins' supposedly right demonstrated pen to right those Calzaghe down on ever in a big fight. No, Hopkins moved in like he was going to move into a clinch and shot a short direct point to point right in. What an embarrassment to Calzaghe and all two fighters who are probably the two best adjustable fighters in boxing today. Calzaghe proved that in his last fight with Kessler where he came back and turned the fight around and Bernard does the same thing. And there's a trickle of blood on the nose of Calzaghe, right on the bridge of the nose. Perhaps the product of the right hand that dumped him on his shorts. What a great start for Hopkins in round one against Joe Calzaghe. That Calzaghe wasn't even expecting that because from that shorter distance, it had, would have made it had much more effect than if it had been a long range punch. But Clinton showed a perfect pinpoint short right hand. Knocked down by putting Calzaghe onto his trunks. Total punches in round 35. Again, those kinds of numbers reflect a Bernard Hopkins. Every time Calzaghe nears Hopkins, Bernard is reaching out and clutching him with the... Well, Mayweather had a lot to do with that. Yeah, and I think so far it's Hopkins who's keeping Calzaghe from doing... Oh. Calzaghe beginning to get a chance to let his hands go. Oh, oh. It's still... And landed none. Obviously, if he's going to get that two-fisted rhythm going, he's going to have to start. Very difficult to land clean punches on. Both of them are very good defensive fighters. And now Calzaghe goes with the lead. Risk on these, you know, who kept his head down, puts his guard and getting hit, made opponents hurt the hands. But also, he's landing very short, accurate punches. Calzaghe is busy, but his punches oh, are more of a slap. And that's saying something, because Calzaghe's always been able to crowd booze as Cortez warns Calzaghe. Body shots by Calzaghe. Hopkins drives him away with a counter right. Arrangement. Trainer Mackie Shillstone, John David Jackson to talk about Southpaw. Oh, oh. I want just like you said, to the night, that, but Jim, I gotta tell you, Bernard's got United States a couple of years ago. Hopkins fighting off the ropes with his counter punching accuracy. Oh, oh. Request you to do, you don't have to do it mandatorily. When you come to the Reno, I think they said. And had a discussion with them saying he didn't want any roughhousing tactics. CompuBox numbers in the fourth round. Hopkins, 7 of 29. Calzaghe, 14 out of Calzaghe in every round. But as Max Kellerman points out, the numbers don't necessarily reflect who lands the cleaner, more identified. I'm surprised when he does that, Hopkins doesn't punch. Oh, oh, oh. Avoiding it inside. But you know, Jim, as you said, the more identifiable punches, whenever I... Calzaghe landed a good straight left hand to the body and the left upstairs. Alzaghi getting in more punches and a good left hand that clocks Hopkins. Something to sing about that round, apparently, Jim. Or maybe they just wanted to sing. <laughs> and then smother you right away after that, so it can be a very rough fight to score. When Bernard goes forward, because Bernard runs in with his head down every time. Hard right hand body shot by Hopkins amid a flurry by Calzaghi. <laughs> did earlier. Although they're caught, Calzaghe. Could easy by moving and boxing in and out a little bit. He could fight a much smaller fight. Now Calzaghe starts to get the kind of spirited combat he wants. Cortez throws Calzaghe to the floor, pulling him off. Lands in 53 punches. Harold, how do you have it through okay, six? Jim, the last three rounds, I thought Joe Calzaghe's aggressiveness and clean punching, he just won them all. Anyway, four rounds to two. 57, 56, Joe Calzaghe. Now, there's only a one-point difference because Hopkins has that egg. Well, I think it's also possible that the third round, which Harold Letterman gave to Hopkins, could conceivably have gone. Amazing man. Well, he spent 17 years fighting in the 160-pound weight class. And Emmanuel Stewart, you began to observe, observe toward the end of his middleweight, best way to make Bernard Hopkins fight offensively is to go hit it, as Calzaghe is that, doing. That's what I was saying right there. Cal really no power, more of an amateur type slapping punches, but they get points, and also leaving himself open for Bernard's punches. Bernard and perhaps because of that hard right hand toward the end, Letterman gives the round to Hopkins, which evens the fight on his scorecard. It's back, but he's back to Antoine Elkins. I thought was his last really aggressive fight, even when he beat Trinidad and Oscar, he patiently waited this time. He lost the early part of the fight said He's always been. 
the four punch rally by Calzaghe, punctuated by a right hand counter punch from Hopkins. That shows you how quick Bernard can still be yeah. from Calzaghe. Hopkins lands his right. Zaki constantly trying to apply pressures, trying to speed the tempo of the fight, trying to make the 43-year-old man fight. Getting to pay off. He said he's very, very get, get adaptable at a change and adjusting to do whatever he has to do to win a fight. It's 15 out of 38, Kalzaki, 22 out of 65, including 7 out of 28 jabs. That's the best Kalzaki has done with his jab. But he's still out of a good straight left. Good straight left. That improvisational ability is what we're seeing here. Hard right hand for Hopkins, but Joe was rolling with the punch. And he's coming right back and not, not letting Bernard set in the tempo. And Bernard is having a time, we're trying to time and figure his rhythm out. They're making the sweat, the sweat fly. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Another straight left hand for Hopkins. Improvisational quality. More and more as the fight has gone on, he has found answers for the riddle of Bernard Hopkins. CompuBox numbers in nine. Kalzaki 25 out of 60. For a movie that takes place in April. Straight right hand by Hopkins. Cortez there explicitly stating, I'm not trying to take any points. 10 seconds. And both guys let their hands go. Bernard Hopkins in a prize fight. Roy Jones landed 206 blows by CompuBox count back in 1993. Joe Calzaghe has landed 189 punches already on Bernard Hopkins. In all likelihood, it's going to finish the fight. Current, faster, higher volume of punches would outwork Bernard and win a close decision. Illinois, whose record is not all that intelligible to us. Don't know that much about it. Preparing him to win the title from Larry Holmes was Roy Jones. Moving more up to hit away, where he looked very good. Cortez says, go right ahead and fight. But might there be retaliation? Hopkins trying to retaliate with his big right hand. If they want to trade, Calzaghe will land more. It's as simple as that. Calzaghe's rhythm and timing is just too much of that. Round 12 begins. Freddie Roach urging Hopkins to finish strong. You know, but in the corners, Hopkins' corner feels he's ahead, yep. and Calzaghe's corner seems to feel Calzaghe's behind. Saying uh -huh. that Abs tell Bernard Critter that he's winning the fight. Yep. Well, again, those early swing rounds, depending on whose favor they go in, might determine the fight. Good left hand by Calzaghe. Uh -huh. And they're both fighting hard. As I always say, the Nevada judges consistently like guys who force a fight. Christianly looked in the first few rounds as though it was more than possible. As does the fact that no point was ever deducted for the two times that the fight was stopped because of low blows by Kalzaki. The seconds tick away. And they fight past the bell. From Newbridge Wells, still undefeated. And now. Recognized by Ring Magazine as the new linear 